Criminal law, mens rea. Cunningham recklessness. Mens rea in criminal law refers to the state of mind of the defendant. There are different types of mens rea such as intention, recklessness, dishonesty or knowledge. In general terms, being reckless refers to the taking of an unjustified risk. The meaning of recklessness in criminal law is set out in case law. There are different types of recklessness depending on which offense is under consideration. Cunningham recklessness is a subjective form of recklessness and applies to all non-fatal offenses against the person which require recklessness. For offenses against property, the test established in RVG and R now applies. Cunningham recklessness derives from the case of R.V. Cunningham in 1957. The defendant's future mother-in-law told him that her neighbor was on holiday. He burgled the neighbor's house during the night. He ripped a gas meter from the wall in order to steal the money in the meter. This caused gas to escape. The gas seeped through small cracks in the wall to the neighboring property where his future mother-in-law was sleeping. She was overcome with fumes. He was charged under Section 23 of the Offenses Against the Person Act 1861 with unlawfully and maliciously causing a noxious thing to be administered so as thereby to endanger life. The trial judge directed the jury that malicious meant wicked. The jury convicted the defendant and he appealed. Mr. Justice Byrne, in the Court of Appeal, held that the word malicious means either 1. An actual intention to do the particular kind of harm that in fact was done or 2. Recklessness as to whether such harm should occur or not. He defined recklessness as where the accused has foreseen that the particular kind of harm might be done and yet has gone on to take the risk of it. The defendant's conviction was therefore quashed as he did not foresee that gas would seep through tiny cracks in the wall so as to endanger his fiancée's mother. Initially, Cunningham recklessness was applied generally whenever there was reference to reckless. However, in 1982 the House of Lords held that Caldwell recklessness should be applied to cases under the Criminal Damage Act 1971. Caldwell recklessness was later replaced with a more subjective test in RVG and R 2003. In RV Parmenter the defendant injured his baby son. He did not know that the way he was holding him could cause injury. It was held that Cunningham recklessness should be applied in all non-fatal offenses against the person where recklessness formed part of the mens rea. The defendant's conviction was therefore quashed as he did not foresee a risk of injury. In summary, Cunningham recklessness is where the defendant foresees the risk of what occurred might occur and nevertheless carries on to take that risk. Cunningham recklessness applies to all non-fatal offenses against the person requiring proof of recklessness. This video is part of a series of videos on law from www.elawresources.co.uk. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel www.youtube.com slash at elawresources. It's free to do so and will help us to keep providing these videos. Check out our website which provides lecture outlines and case summaries. See also www elawrevision.org.uk for revision games and quizzes. Thanks for watching.